Hi, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk about weather and ski conditions. A late edition today. We've just been getting absolutely blasted here in Colorado with blizzard conditions. Uh, you see some of the preliminary totals anywhere from one to four feet in, in many of those predicted areas we talked about yesterday, right on the continental divide, tilting down on the east side, Eldora, way at the top of the list, three to feet in, in some of those places uh, over uh, and even more potentially around Longs and then up towards uh, Cameron Pass and Red Feather, extending all the way down to Winter Park, uh, between one and two feet over the top of Loveland, kind of into that, that uh, Loveland down to Bertha Pass and over towards our Winter Park area. So we're still adding to that, even as we speak. We could <laughs> certainly push these totals even higher. So this thing absolutely delivered, and it's still hitting us hard. Let's get into the, uh, the radar and the satellite. Uh, so you can see what's going on. We've got two things. We've got the big storm in Colorado. We've got the blizzard and then the new storm moving into the West Coast. So we'll definitely talk about both. Um, let's zoom in, though, just a little bit here to uh, Colorado, and you can, you can kind of see what we're dealing with. Look at this spin. It's almost like, um, almost like a little uh, hurricane, winter hurricane, although the two are totally different, but you get the idea. There's definitely, there's your low, and you can see the spin. Let's see if I can't mark the low but all of the bands spinning around it, and we're just absolutely taking that, uh, that wind around the low and slamming it in to Denver, the Front Range, and all that's just a, a really, really good, really maximizing the orographic flow over the top of the uh, high terrain features in Colorado and just wringing out all of that heavy snow. So that's, that storm is what we're dealing with now. But by the time I put the future radar into motion, future radar and satellite, the blue is snow on this map and rain is green. Watch by tomorrow morning, the storm is moving away. We just have lighter wraparound snows in Colorado. Tomorrow will be an amazing powder day if you can get to some of these places. You really have to already be there. Look at the west coast. So the next storm moving in there, you've got snow all the way up and down from Whistler, uh, more so down towards California, Shasta, Tahoe, and it may brush Mammoth as well. We'll take a look at those totals coming up in a minute. But then that storm begins to move inland, and that's Monday at 5.15 p.m. That will slide across the Wasatch over the coming days, and right here between Monday night and into Tuesday, right there. It doesn't look like it's much, but it does look like it's going to brush the Wasatch and maybe even the Tetons on its way through. And then it will bring a sort of a refreshing shot of snow into mainly southern Colorado, but this is Tuesday at 5 a.m. As I push this into uh, Wednesday in the morning, you can see that storm kind of slides through southern Colorado and brushes Telluride. Telluride got like 16 inches out of this thing, out of this storm. This one will add another nice shot of snow through Silverton, Wolf Creek, uh, Monarch, all those areas south of I-70 will get another shot of some nice snow and even Taos as well. And then that storm moves away by the time we get into Thursday morning. Uh, watch the rotation. Now behind it, there's really not a lot there. It kind of turns quiet into Thursday across the far west. There is another storm sitting out over the Pacific, but it'll take a little more time before it moves in. So let's transition over to uh, snow totals here, and I'll show you what we're uh, dealing with. As far as accumulation, between today and tomorrow, most of the accumulation is in two places, northern California and in Colorado. And what you see in Colorado is just leftover accumulation as the storm kind of spins away into Monday morning. Shasta, we add some anywhere from 6 to 12 from Mammoth to Squaw, uh, Tahoe, all the way up to Shasta. So good skiing there for tomorrow. Now, by the time we roll into Tuesday, notice we did add a little bit extra into the high winters. We start to add a little bit of snow into Wednesday in the, uh, the Jackson Hole area down into the Wasatch. Initially, it's not much. We may add a little bit more during the day on Wednesday and into Thursday. So Thursday might be the better day through Little and Big Cottonwood Canyons, and then that storm would add. Look at the accumulation in Silverton with that next, that next low tracking through southern Colorado. So there you go. We still got some stuff to look forward to. After the big storm exits Colorado, the West Coast brings in a couple of uh, other small storms. All right, take care. Thank you for tuning in here.